What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Clue Brew video. I'll be finally getting some time after the move to settle down, pick up the camera, and get to fixing that valve cover gasket so I could get the leak situated, the oil leak situated. Um, but let's go to the garage. I've already taken some things off to get me some room to work around and get that valve cover off. So let's go check that out and maybe we could get some more things off today. All of the many things I have problems with this car that I that need to get addressed, but we're gonna be taking them out slowly one by one and get her back on the road. So there's the valve cover. That I'm gonna need to take out. I think I can take out these clips, the harness for the coils. Get those out today, um, and then probably get these out as well. Here is the kit that I have. This is what I'm gonna be using to replace them. So yeah, that's what I've got done so far. Let's try to get these coils out while I can. There it goes. And I just broke that clip off, clip off right here. Um, get this coil pack out. Okay. There it goes, cracking open. I can pull that off now too. Yeah, as you can tell, the rest in between there, I'm going to try to clean it best as I can. Hopefully, um, you know, have no future problems with it so soon. But this here is what I took off. Just hand loosening the bolts out. There's one in the back here that probably gonna have quite some trouble taking out there's more than this bolt here I know that I need to take off it's a 12 here. okay the overflow tank Oh, Jesus. Getting pretty dinged up here all over my fingers. No good. I might actually just cut this video into a couple parts, actually. Uh, separate videos. Uh, got the sniffles. We're all set. We're in the car. I'm going to go pick up some tools because I just feel more motivated to keep working on the car today. And I just don't want to waste too much time. So right now I'm heading to Menards. Just pick up some uh, pliers set just to have in my arsenal of tools that I am collecting. And as well as I'm, collect I'm going to Hobby Lobby to pick up a vase for the apartment and um, just some house decor stuff um, that the wifey fiance um, went to go check out earlier yeah I don't have a good steady spot to put the camera um, so as I make these turns it's sliding back and forth uh, but yeah uh, I'm gonna go pick up some tools, get back into the garage, get some things out the way, and just keep this process progressing. So I'll see you back inside the garage. Alright, got what we needed. Got some essential pliers. Just decided to go with this because I can afford it. Music, my music. Um, also, remember to get some gloves work with and the brake cleaner that I'm going to be using too 
um, get all that oil off of the valve cover when I get to cleaning it. Here's a little sneak peek of what we got in store for some decor and style of how we're going to be decorating the house. Alright, and we're back in the garage with gloves and pliers to help me out to getting some parts off. Try to show you guys what I'm trying to do here. So I am trying to give myself space to get that bolt down there. You can see it. That one there. But then there's this part here that curves down like this right above that bolt. And there's literally like no room to get to it. What I've gone ahead and done already is break off all the bolts that I could really touch. So I got these three, uh, that one there as well, and then maybe um, on the like middle, and then lower level middle, and then lower level right side. But it was real hard snug fit, so I couldn't really too tight of a fit to get the bottom left one there. I'm still having a problem with getting that bolt out. having trouble here getting that off oh, but there's a zip tie right on that hose right there um, but I think I might stop here because um, I really can't do nothing about this being in the way this piece here because I need to like lift it up so I could have some room to get that bolt out so I will try to get all of these bolts off um, now started loosening this one by hand um, felt like that was the best way for me to do it right now so I'll be getting that done now or getting most of this situated and get through uh, I got pretty much all of the valve cover bolts off except for one and two down there um, but yes, I think I got, I got enough room to, with this one here, this qu quarter inch, and then I guess I broke it open, just at an angle. Now I could hand loosen it, I could feel it. So I'll get that off. Alright, I got it off of there, and then pull, got to pull the gasket off too. All right, uh, the most painful thing is getting that last bolt right there off because there's literally no room right there at the bottom. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to get my socket in there and break it open and then uh, hand loosen it the rest of the way. But it's literally that bolt there holding it in. And then I've got that for the picture frame bolt. So pull it off and it'll still hang there. I'm finishing up for today's work. I just need a battle and probably lift the engine to get that last bolt out. That's what I'm probably going to have to end up doing. But um, a lot of progress today. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. I think I'm going to end it. I think I'm going to end this video here and we'll get to editing, get this up and then for you guys to watch and then we'll have part two coming up soon. Thank you guys for watching, peace out, and stay tuned for the rest of the valve cover replacement. See you guys.